monthly.com calendar tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the monthly.com calendar integrations and the different features that are available with the calendar on monthly.com. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you're just going to log into your monthly.com account or your workspace. I already have logged in uh, to my account and I have created a few sample workspaces to show you guys the different features and the different ways that you can actually use the calendar on monthly.com. So first off, I'm just going to give you guys a general overview of monday.com before you get started with the calendar is on your left, you have your navigation panel, you can find your different workspaces and all these are separated like so. And within your workspaces, you have different boards that you can create. Then you have your notifications and boxes, my work section, your application integrations, members and general account settings as well. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to add the calendar onto our workspace. So let's say if I actually go into um, my main workspace, you can see I have a managing student life kind of workspace created over here. So I'm just going to open up this workspace and you can see I have this like simple little workspace. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on add view over here and I'm just going to search for calendar. So if you can't find calendar view over here, you're just going to go on to more views over here and then you can just search for calendar and you can click on open in board and this will create the calendar view onto the board that you have selected. Now, once you have your calendar view you can choose to expand it if you want but you can see over here you have like a basic calendar and the great part about using the calendar view is that you can expand it or contract it and you can create like several different calendars and create like several different automations within the calendar so the first thing that is great about the calendar view and the first feature that basically I like to use in the calendar view is that you can separate different boards so this is a calendar only for AP math class but if you want a calendar for your overall workspace that you have you can also create that as well so you can just go on to the initial board and create a calendar over here but let's say i have math class on friday so instead of actually going into the timeline view and you know creating class task over here i could just go on to my calendar view i could click on the fourth the friday the fourth and i can just click on plus over here i can add what group it is for so if it's for my fall semester or spring semester then i can assign it to myself or any other member i can add what day of the week it is or if it's specifically over here then i can even add rooms so let's say i have it in auditorium like so and then you can even add credits if you want and you can add notes and if you keep on scrolling you can add different tags and choose if it is a completed or a general task so you can just click on create task and just like that you have a task created on your actual timeline or main table for that day. Now, this is another great thing that I find in the general calendar views is that you can integrate a lot more onto your main table directly from the calendar. So I created that uh, new item in the auditorium. So it's present over here in the fall semester. And then I can later on edit it from here if I want. Now I could do the same with, let's say I have um, a personal finances board over here. So you can see I have like a simple little board. I can just click on the plus icon, I'm going to click on more views, I'm going to add a calendar view like this, and this will open up the calendar, I'm going to save it as calendar, I'm just going to wait for this to load up onto my dashboard now you can see this is for my personal finances only now what you can do is you can choose to rename or duplicate a calendar and then you can add like a different uh, measurement over there so let's say i have uh, this calendar to manage my bills so what i can do is i can just click on over here i can rename this into bills and then i can duplicate this calendar and then once I have duplicated my calendar, what I can do is I can rename this one into um, savings day or maybe I can rename it into birthday parties or um, gifting days. So you know when you have to give people something and you need to, you know, manage money over there. And then you can add different things onto these different sections. And what I can do, you know, it's pretty much the same process. Let's say I have somebody's birthday is on the Thursday. So I can just add a task over here. I can add um, fiance's birthday or maybe I could even add like 
sister's birthday and then i can add like a budget over here as well or add like a separate category for budgets as well to um really help me navigate through my personal finances so you can use the calendar not only to manage like one task you can manage several different items in one calendar widget in one board so after that you can even see that if you want to uh, view it monthly weekly or daily you can choose that as well so if you want a day-to-day -day calendar i really find that if i go on to my actual weekly planner over here that i can use the day-to-day -day section of the calendar so i'm just going to click on add view i'm going to click on more views i'm going to add the calendar and show you guys how the day-to-day -day version of the calendar is helpful because for that if i have like a weekly planner or if i'm planning out my activities i really like to go into the weekly section and then what i like to do is you can see it's the second right now so i can add like timed tasks so this is going to be at 12 a.m 1 a.m 2 a.m what i'm going to be doing at specific times and this will really help you navigate through the day within your actual project management or just management application so you can really get a, a lot of work accomplished just by having this set up on your monday.com planner now another great thing that you can really do with the calendar is that i really like to use this personally is that you can add like a longer timeline at tasks so let's say if i have like these tasks over here and i have like work on monthly budget and what i can do is i can just click on over here and i can add the date for this and what i can do is this will open up my calendar so once the calendar is open i can just change the date so i'm going to change it into 2022 and what i can do is i can change the color obviously that's one feature but what you can do is you can just drag and select from when to when this is going to be accomplished so let's say if you open up this and you're going to add your time as well and you can add like as many days as you want so it could be like a starting time and an ending time for that specific tasks now for that specific task now you can not only micromanage your day-to-day -day tasks with the calendars but you can even go back into your monthly calendar just to view it month by month to see what kind of work you're doing and you can have several different calendars for every specific item or every specific thing that you're looking to measure now another thing about the calendar view is that you can click on new item over here and you can create tasks directly from here or you can even add different widgets within the calendar to be able to filter out your progress or see different charts or any progress that you might want to monitor in that way and another great feature is that you can filter it by person so if you assign someone to this board or if you have like tasks assigned to multiple people you can easily find like oh this person is supposed to do this 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 by this date and then you can filter out different assignees and view their work like so all this is great by monday.com and the calendar i hope you guys really do understand how to use the calendar feature on monday.com now but there is a slight little drawback that i have to tell you guys is that the pricing of monday.com now on the free version you don't get this calendar view for monday.com so it only comes with the standard version which is ten dollars per member per month and you will get timeline views gantt views and calendar views only on this version the basic one that starts at eight dollars per member per month and the free version does not allow the calendar view so if you are looking to use all of these features from monday's calendar for free i'm really sorry but you can't really do that unless you do upgrade to their standard version which i do recommend that you do try out because it is a pretty great project management software and another thing is that you can get a 14 day free trial of monday.com if you want to try out these features without having to pay for them so don't worry you do get to test all of these features out for yourself before you actually choose to sign up so that was it for today i I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to start managing your tasks as well on the calendar on monday.com make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and share this video with someone that might need it and i will catch you guys in the next video